έχουμε το φίλο μα το Φριστάν σήμερα. Ωραία, ωραία. Μα έκανε την τιμή και ήρθε από τα άλλη μέρια μα. Έχουμε το Frozen και τον κύριο Καραουσκουλά Μπρέκερ, τον Χρήστο το Στάμι. Ωραία! Τον έφερε. Η άκρη είναι ο Στάμι. Πάμε παρακάτω. Ωραία. I don't know a word of what he just said, but it's all good. Trust me, just say yeah. Αϊ! Okay. First of all, it's an honor to be with us. Thanks, man. Yeah, it's definitely an honor to be here. You know, it's a lot of powers that came into being to put me here. You know what I'm saying? If it wasn't for hip hop, I wouldn't be in Greece. So it's not. A, That's why it's a blessing. All about right hip hop. That's it. <laughs> hip hop, life, your family, you're straight. Okay. All right. So, uh, how did you like the Greek people yesterday? So, uh, well, I mean, I've been here twice, and uh, the first time I came was the Battle of the Year. Um, you know, they had their little the Greek part because they always have their different parts, you know, different countries. And um, since then and now, you know, put both together, it's been nothing but good, welcome feeling. You know, mm -hmm. like every time, like I came last time. My man Versus took me around, he showed me a good time, he, you know, made sure I was comfortable. This time I came, I was with Stamets, the same thing, take me around, make sure I'm all right, always checking on me, you know, make sure it's, you know, everything's straight, mm -hmm. nothing but good business, good people, good children, man. Mm -hmm. What happened with Arsonist and you left? Uh, well, I was with Arsonist uh, since 93. And we were together from 93 to 2000, seven years, as, as the five members. Arsenal started with 13 members, right? Mm -hmm. It went from 13 to 10 to 9 to 7 to 5, and now it's 3. So, I mean, you know, I love them guys. I always will. I love them from the beginning till now, even if I'm not part of the group. But... Some people just don't get along, and some things just don't work out, man. You know, people have different visions, people have different outlooks on things, opinions, views. Mm -hmm. A lot of things come into play that just don't fit together. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it did for a little while, and then after a while, you know, it's like, mm, maybe it's not supposed to be like this. So I went from 13 to 3 guys, and my... It has to tell you something about something there, you know, it just wasn't right. You know, as much as we wanted it to be right, you know, it just didn't work out. You're cool with each other, right? With who? You're cool with each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still friends and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we cool. There's no beef. No beef. I mean, of course, we don't talk every day like we used to. Mm -hmm. We used to hang out every day. We was in the studio every day. We was on tour every day. It was every day with them. But now it's more like I speak to them maybe once or twice a year, you know. And that's it. No problem with that, Sonic. <laughs> no problem. Okay. I'm just doing me now. It's just me doing myself for other people. You know. And you are preparing your solo album. Solo album is in the works. I'm trying to get it done for the end of this year. Mm -hmm. um, maybe put out a single, two singles, maybe a video. You know, I don't. It's all in my my hands right now. Like I don't have no major label or nothing like that. It's independent. So, whoever I could contact that could help me with a video promotion and stuff, it's all me trying to do my own project for myself. You know, I don't have no big label and all that stuff. If I do get a label, they're just going to put it in the store and that's it. You know, I have, it's up to me to promote, it's up to me to make a video, it's up to me to do a remix, it's up to me, up to, me to pay for features, pay for studio. I got to do everything myself and I'm broke. <laughs> Well, this so, is the same thing I've heard. <laughs> Good luck. It's, yeah, it's all a matter of time, you know. Yeah, it'd be much than that. It's just a matter of time, you know, and hopefully by the end of this year, I can put it out. I have an album. Mm -hmm. I'm mixing it right now. You know, I got like 13, 14 songs. Mm -hmm. And um, I have to decide what I'm going to do with it. I have to get the artwork done. So the album is there. I have the album in my pocket. But it's, it's just finished. a matter of, nah, I have to mix it. Ah, okay. I mean, it's finished mm -hmm. with the songs. The songs are done, month but work. I have to go in the studio and mix month it down. Month work. Yeah, you know, about a month work, and then I'm then it'll be completely done. In the video clip. Video clips come out. 
Okay. <laughs> Yesterday you spoke about respect. Uh, can you repeat it for the guys that are reading this interview? Well, respect comes in, as far as hip hop goes, respect comes in different forms. You know what I'm saying? When you're gonna, first of all, when you, if you're involved in this, you gotta respect everybody around you. Because if you don't, well, nobody gonna really wanna work with you. <laughs> I mean, it comes down to, like, hip hop itself is, isn't a business. It's not supposed to be a business. It's not supposed to be about money. It's not supposed to be about TV. But when you break all of that stuff away from it, it's just the streets. Mm -hmm. It's just, I know how to rhyme. You know how to rhyme. I want to rhyme better than you. That's all it is. But I respect you. You know what I'm saying? If I burned you, I burned you. And you respect me. Mm -hmm. That's just the raw, raw aspect of, mm -hmm. of, of respect. But then when you throw all the other bullshit in it, TV, radio, magazine, money, money right? Then it comes to another level where you got to deal with everybody around you in order for it to work. So, like, let's say when we were in a club, that, like, that last night we were in a club, I said, um, I was, you know, I did, I, I rhymed about graffiti writers, I was, yo, where the graffiti writers at? Because yeah. I love that shit. But at the end of the show, I said, don't tag up in the club. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's, like I said, when it comes, all these, all these, all these things come into play, respect comes at, into that play, into play right there, where you like, yo, graffiti is the shit, fuck everybody, but don't tag up in the club. Why? Because we have to have respect for the owner. Mm -hmm. If you don't, what happens? No hip hop jams in this club no more. Mm -hmm. Then what you do? Then you gotta go to another club. Then the graffiti fuck that up. You go to another club, then the graffiti writers fuck that up. Then what you gonna do? You have no clubs to do no hip hop parties. So it's like, the respect thing is, you know what I'm saying? It's a real important thing. You know, you have to, we have to do what we do, but at the same time, you have to use your head so we can get far. You know, that we, that way we can expand, you know what I'm saying? We, you can't expand if you're disrespecting everybody. Mm 